This is an unboxing of the iPhone 13 Pro to find out what comes included in the box, as well as how it compares to last year's iPhone 12 Pro. The first thing you'll notice, or at least that I noticed, is that on the front of the box, Apple has actually put the back of the iPhone 13 Pro. This is in comparison to the front of the iPhone 12 Pro. The rest of the boxes are pretty much the same. We have iPhone on the side. This was the silver version, which is why the iPhone text is shiny and more reflective. This is graphite, so it's more muted in the iPhone text. On the bottom, we have Apple logos on both. Top, uh, same kind of deal here. And on the back, it's pretty much the same. Now, the second biggest difference is actually that the new iPhone 13 Pro doesn't have any plastic wrap. So if we cut to a side-by-side -side here, you can see this is just the sort of raw cardboard box, whereas last year and previous years, Apple has used plastic to cover the packaging. In fact, it's actually the same as what they're still doing with iPad mini. You can see this plastic reflectiveness on it. I don't understand why Apple took the plastic off of iPhone but kept it on the iPad mini, but there you go. This does save like some huge number of plastic, which I personally appreciate. But yeah, I think that's enough rambling. Let's get into this unboxing, find out what's included. To open this package, there are actually two pull tabs. So you're just gonna wanna find the arrow and kind of pull it. It should peel across nicely. And there's one on the bottom as well. And you're gonna wanna simply lift the top off and boom, you're greeted with your first look at the iPhone 13 Pro. And wow, I must say this looks really, really nice in the graphite color. Let's take it out here and see what else is included in the box. You do have a one meter lightning cable and this is a lightning to USB-C connector. It will work with Apple's newer, faster charging bricks, but unfortunately it's not gonna work with those old five watt power bricks. Thankfully though, I don't know if this is thankful, but uh, Apple still is using the lightning connector. So literally any lightning cable you have will work to charge your iPhone 13. There are some indicators here on the plastic. We got our power button on the right, volume on the left and the mute switch. Let's take this off and wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. The camera bump is huge. But yeah, let's let's wait to do a quick comparison a little bit later. The final thing you get is some paperwork here. I got the unlocked one, so it does come with the SIM eject tool, and I think actually all of them do, or they should, paperwork and a single Apple sticker. So this is everything that's included in the iPhone 13 Pro packaging. Now let's compare iPhone 12 Pro to iPhone 13 Pro. <laughs> I think the most immediate difference is the camera bump. I mean, look at that. The camera bump on the new 13 is colossal. This is because Apple is using new lenses and new sensors for some of the cameras uh, for huge improvements in low light capture and overall photography and image quality. That is why this has a chunky camera bump. I mean, it literally does look like some sort of outgrowth. Like it is multiplying. Pretty soon the camera bump will cover like all of this area, all of the back of the phone will be cameras. Uh, the other thing you'll kind of notice is some subtle differences in the placements of buttons. So on the right of the device, we still have our power button and our cutout for millimeter wave 5G, but you can see the power button has been shifted down a couple of millimeters. And some similar changes are on the left side of the device. You can see if we kind of line these up here, I'm trying very hard not to scratch either phone, uh, but it looks like the volume buttons have moved again down a few millimeters and the volume rocker has also moved down a couple of millimeters. And either way, on the new phone, the power button is still awkwardly across from the volume rocker, so you will definitely take a bunch of accidental screenshots. It's just so easy. Um, but I think those are the main hardware differences. On the bottoms of the devices, you can see the stainless steel and the silver definitely does get scratched up, but you still have the same exact cutouts for the speaker, microphone, and lightning port, as well as the same antenna line. And on the top of the device, it's the same. The other minor difference while we are kind of looking at these devices kind of side by side here is the 13 Pro is slightly thicker, not just like camera bump thick. I mean, <laughs> you can see how big that camera bump is even from this top down view. I mean, just look at that as wow. Uh, but the actual device is thicker to house a bigger battery. That should help battery life. Both have the Apple logo centered on the device, look really nice. And I think the, yep, the SIM card tray is actually moved. So you can see SIM card tray is on the bottom of the 12 Pro, and now it's a little bit more towards the middle of the 13 Pro. Apple said they did re-engineer a lot of the internals, 
So open the camera app uh, to, I guess, better fit everything. And that's what's going on here. Now let's talk about the displays on these devices, because this is where there's a huge difference. The iPhone 13 Pro upgrades to a 120 hertz display, which means content looks absolutely buttery smooth. Of course, it's not gonna come through on this 30 frame per second YouTube video, but I will have a second video comparing the 60 frames per second refresh rate actually on the regular 13 in comparison to the 120 hertz you get on the 13 Pro. One important note is this display is not always running at 120 hertz. If you're looking at something static like a home screen, it'll drop to potentially, let's say 10 hertz. But as you start to swipe and move around, that's where it's actually gonna pick up and go to 120 hertz. So everything feels super sma smash. So everything feels super smooth and responsive. I absolutely love it. Second big difference of the display is the notch. And this one, uh, it's definitely minor. Uh, Apple just kind of shrunk the notch a little bit. You can really see it on this white page here, but the important thing to note is the vertical real estate of the notch. So the top to bottom is still the same. It's just the horizontal width that changed. Uh, and Apple didn't really make any changes to what is displayed. It looks like they literally just made the battery icon bigger, the Wi-Fi symbol bigger, and the cellular connectivity indicator bigger as well, as well as the time. They didn't add any new information. There's no battery percentage. Apple's not putting any new information there, basically. And honestly, the smaller notch, it's gonna look good, I imagine, but right now it just looks weird to me because I'm so familiar with this bigger notch design uh, from the 10s, actually from the 10 all the way to the iPhone 12. So uh, this just disappears in my eyes because I've looked at it for so long. This one is standing out again. It looks like uh, that weird sort of forehead cutout, but either way, that's the other big difference. And you can see the speaker piece move from being in the center of the camera cutout to now being at the top. Um, it looks weird at first, but I think I'll get used to it. And those are kind of the differences between the phones. Apple really improved the core fundamentals of iPhone here. You have a thicker design for a bigger battery and better battery life. You've got improved cameras and you've got an improved display. And those are like the three big things that I use most on my phone. So I'm really happy these improvements are here. And of course, one thing that pretty much no one is talking about is there is actually a new 5G modem in the iPhone 13, which should hopefully allow for faster 5G connectivity and possibly even better, where is it, uh, millimeter wave speeds on the millimeter wave network. So I'll have to do a 5G speed test between these devices, get subscribed so you don't miss it. And that's pretty much it. That is everything that's included with iPhone 13 Pro and kind of how it compares to last year's iPhone 12 Pro. Click the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with a friend so they can enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.